Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Mystical Mermaid. If this is your first time coming to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up. If you're returning, you know I love you. All right, folks. Let's just get right into it. I am going to start with some overall energy um, for the collective. If this resonates, please hashtag resonate in the comments below. I will be choosing from all the videos that I've got somebody to ask, talk to me for a few minutes and get a free little session with a few questions, okay? Um, continue to uplift Leland and his family. I've got to get that video up for him as well as Beth's dad. She did text me late last night, but I was already asleep. Um, all right. The overall energy, folks, for the collective. Watching this video, the overall energy for Saturday, October the 23rd. Jack's birthday is in three days, folks. I've got to work. <laughs> All right, Saturday, October 23rd. October 23rd for the collective. What is their overall energy today? Overall energy for today. We have the message in a bottle. Mm. We also have deep knowing. On the bottom, we have go the distance. So... Clearly, some sort of message is coming in, right? Um, I feel like you probably already know this. I feel like this is something that you maybe possibly been waiting to hear. Um, if this doesn't happen today, and I'm getting confirmation, okay, that it should. But if not today... Then probably the next few days. But let's see what the tarot has to add. Um, yeah, I'll be thinking of a yes or a no question, okay? Alright. This is Saturday, October the 23rd. Please, Spirit, for the click of what do they need to know about this situation? Please, Spirit. <clears throat> what do they need to know about this situation? We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Wands. The Devil. Whew. And then the Hierarch. Okay, so this could be um, something that, some law, something to do with the law. This could be something to do with maybe someone you're married to or this also could be um you could be dealing with a capricorn here or um you have emotionally um i feel an earth sign because not of coins is on the bottom not of pentacles okay that's capricorn virgo and taurus um the eight of wands talks about communication fast communication okay the eight of cups talks about you trying to detach yourself from this okay and the devil's pretty you know if you're not dealing with a capricorn then it's pretty self-explanatory okay this temptations or someone that's not you know whether this be you or whether this be someone okay someone's not got your highest good um at mind I also get the hierarch when folks want to apologize. Okay, so it could be someone wanting to apologize. Let's get some clarity. And see this with these overall energy, with that deep knowing and that message, that definitely the message with that Eight of Wands definitely matches together. So this is definitely it, it may be a specific message but this is for someone okay tell me about the eight of cups give me three cards for each of these for clarity 
to get more details. Why do we have the Eight of Cups? We have the Six of Cups. And in this particular deck, you are walking away from someone. Um, the Four of Wands. Wow, this definitely could be um, the Ten of Coins. Oh, yeah, this is definitely... Um, Definitely, possibly um, someone you're married to or someone you're getting a, with the devil card here and the eight of cups. This could be someone that you're getting a divorce from. Okay. Let's see about the eight of wands. Tell me about this eight of wands. Why do we have the eight of wands today on Saturday, October 23rd? Why do we have the eight of wands? We have the four of swords. So you're not in communication with this person. The seven of cups is choices. And then we have the emperor. So you can have children with this person. Okay. Um, or you could be dealing with an Aries. Tell me about the devil card. Tell me about this devil card, please. We have the ace of coins. We have the three of swords. We had two more to come out. The judgment and the knight of wands. Okay. Okay. So, someone's coming in with an opportunity, okay? Some sort of opportunity. They're going to make it look real good, too, all right? With this Ace of Coins, this Ace of Pentacles. Um, let me get clarity on it. See, they're going to be, like, passionate, maybe, or act as if they are. Why do we have the Three of Swords? Why is the Three of Swords here? We have the Ace of Wands. So... What I just say, passionate, three of cups on the bottom, celebration. Um, this is going to happen regardless. We have the judgment. So there's the queen of coins. So you could be dealing with a female or a male here. Okay. The world is on the bottom. So this is the end of some sort of cycle. But someone is wanting to reopen and restart the cycle. Um. I do feel that this is probably an ex um, that you were married to. If you weren't married, then you were definitely in a long-term commitment or you thought about marriage with this person, okay? I feel like they're coming in with an apology of some sort. What is the outcome of this? What is the outcome, potential outcome, please, for the collective on October the 23rd, Saturday? What is the potential outcome? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Chariot. We have the Eight of Coins. And we have the Three of Coins. Okay, so... I feel like whoever this is, or I feel like what, whoever is coming towards you, I feel like you will put the sword up. Um, she has her back turned, actually, and looked the opposite way. Um, I feel like with this Eight of Coins and the Chariot, I feel like you've put a lot of work into something that you are, you possibly with this Three of Coins working together with someone, you might have already moved on. Um, I'm seeing a lot of sevens around this. You guys, um, eights as well. Now, I feel like um, this is going to leave this person with regrets and remorse. Okay. Um, more so um, regrets, not remorse. Okay. But, see, they still have something hidden. So, whoever this is that's coming towards you, even if they apologize to you, I see that they've got things hidden, okay? Um, still juggling some too many things at one time. And I don't feel like it's going to be the last of them. I feel like they're going to manifest. Yeah. I feel like they're going to manifest this. And you're going to have to eventually continue to, you know move forward some of you guys may give this person a chance but i feel if you do you're going to continue to keep repeating this situation i feel like it's already ended and i feel like you are manifesting 
something that you need to toxic, something that you need to move forward from. Okay. Um, this just uh, doesn't feel right at all. I, I'm seeing that you have more celebration, more abundance, and more clarity if you continue to move forward without this person. Let bygones be bygones. All right, so let's pull from the mermaids. And then we'll get a yes or no question, okay? If this comes to fruition, please let me know sometime this evening or whenever. I'd really like to know. All right. This is for the collective on October the 23rd, Saturday. What do they need to hear about this situation? Three cards, please. What do they need to hear about this situation? All right, so we have dreams, and I can't quite see it. Let me, it says, vivid dreaming, dreaming messages, and dream teaching. Then we have adrift, letting go, Allowing a higher force to take charge this time. And then we have yearning. Longing for someone. Undesired separation. And pining. <clears throat> On the bottom of the deck is transparency. Honest, authentic, genuine, and present. Underneath that is wave of power. It says a surge of power. Upswing in energy and exhilarating movement. So that is definitely, um, you know, that's that communication, that eight of wands energy there. Now, the rest of these, I feel that it very well could be you that is yearning, okay, and pining over someone. But if this isn't you, then this is that person's energy coming towards you, okay? There's a drift and then the dreams. Um, I feel like with this adrift I, in the dreams, I feel like you've just, you have found a, you're convicted, okay? You're, you, you've got this conviction in your heart, and it's like you're moving towards it. Um, something that really means a lot to you. Something more than what this was. Um, maybe at one point you thought that, you know, this was, your heart's desire, but I feel with this adrift card, you can see the enlightenment across this mermaid, and it's definitely um, given me the spiritual awakening vibes, okay? And it's like you've just found a better place, a better mindset, and you know for your highest good, you need to continue to move forward and just let go of the toxic negative folks, including this person from your past. Okay. <clears throat> Before we do the yes or no, let's pull one of these Earthcraft, the deep cards I like to pull every day. And yes, I called them by the right name. Instead of Earthbound, it's Earthcraft, Oracle. What is it that the collective Saturday, October 23rd, needs to hear about this? Wow, you definitely are dreaming. Definitely, I, I, I do. And you definitely may have children with whoever this person is, okay? All right, so we have two cards that fell out. We have prophetic dreams, number 21, and number 22, rise. So let's read about the dreams first. It says, Dreams are your intuition in overdrive, getaways to hidden secrets, needs, and feelings. Each element of a dream represents something significant in your waking life and an opportunity to understand yourself on a deeper level. Your higher self is free of the confines of the conscious mind in dreams and can better provide you with wisdom and support. 
and even alert you to potential dangers you may have overlooked. Many people find it easier to confront challenges and to learn lessons while engaging in their dream space. This card comes to a reading when there is a profound guidance waiting for the reader in the realm of the subconscious mind. Pay special attention to dream activity at this time and keep a journal by your bed to write down details of your dreams. Be sure to record the plants and animals that you encounter so that you can think on their messages in your waking life. You may not understand your dreams at this time especially if you're experiencing more of a nightmare. Your dreams may be alerting you to a situation that has yet to unfold. Keep an open mind and be on the lookout for any signs, especially while out in nature. The answer may come clear when you least expect it. I always harp on all you guys about that, you know, the journaling, dream journaling. That's what I first did when I woke up this morning, and I have not got to journal in the last few days. I've been, I guess, just too busy. Um, it makes you just feel better, I guess, or it does me. Um, I may not, even if it's something that I don't understand, folks, um, or even if I don't remember, but most of the time I do, thank goodness, but I can just even if I have enough time just to write down the main thing, main person, main subject, main thing that I seen, that will help me trigger. Okay. Um, this is our dreams are definitely our subconscious folks. Okay. Um, if we align all that, just think of how much clearer things in are awake time would be okay all right so let's read rise as i hear that song rise up okay it's time for an awakening the traumas wounds and heartaches of your past are over now because you have been brave enough to confront them and burn them down now you are standing on the fertile ash of your past ready to rise this is a card of realignment and self-development. You're ready to charge ahead, so stop doubting yourself. You know what you want and need. The only thing missing now is for you to stand up and reach for it. After all, you've been through. It is safe for you to share yourself with the world again. The right people are waiting for you to rise and greet them with an open heart. This card is for those of you looking for a new well, if you're looking for new love or a new friendship, new relationship, this is a great card. Um, <coughs> sorry. That definitely goes with the reading. That definitely goes with the oracles, the overall energy. It's all aligning. I do feel someone, even I even mentioned going through a spiritual awakening that I feel someone has went through. So that's why I feel like it's, um, you know, the devil comes in many forms, folks. Okay. Don't let Satan take something good or actually great and try to replace it with something toxic and full of negative energy. Okay. Um, I don't know if anybody does anything like this, but. With the dreams, I was going to mention. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of fire gazing. Okay. This is like a, um, I don't know. I guess you would call it a type of meditation. Okay. Um, it helps illuminate everything, not just parts we want to see. Um, when you have a dream or when you pull... Like this card or when you have a dream that you don't quite get or you need deeper meaning from it, then you can um, get you a candle. There's a, I'm trying to think of if there's a certain color. 
I I think I've used any color, honestly. I don't think there's, you can Google that and see. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called fire gazing. But anyways, what I've done is just light any, any color, okay? You just stare into the flame. Um, almost, I don't want to say a trance, but until you're, you know, in that meditation kind of state, right? Clear your head, just like you were meditating. And when you're ready, address the flame. <coughs> say something like, um, talk about the dream, what you do remember or what you do know of, okay? And just ask for God or whoever it is that you believe in <coughs> or source or universe has to reveal to you the message that needs to be seen or heard. Stay with that flame. Hold your, like your gaze, okay? Like you're, just hold it steady. And then just kind of the insight, you know, that you may receive, or I don't know. I, I know that that's at that point, that's when I would receive a lot of visions. Um, if you don't yet receive visions, then, you know, it'll be on your heart. It, it's just, it's just kind of like a sin synchronicity. So I'll tell you guys, okay, stop and just kind of acknowledge them and be like, okay, God, I see that. And then ask him to reveal whatever the message is. He'll lay it upon your heart. He'll, he'll reveal it to you if you ask him, right? Same thing with this. But this was this is kind of like, um, you know, just putting it out there. And the more intent and, you know, God knows our hearts, obviously. But the more intentions and the more work you put towards it, then the more you're going to receive, Okay. And it's going to be a lot more clear than I think if you put more effort like this, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do your yes or no, and that will wrap it up. This is for the collective on October 23rd, Saturday, for their yes or no. We have no need to worry. And then on the bottom, it says... If you believe, um, I'm not sure if this is going to resonate because it got pretty specific, but I am going to let you know that for someone that this does, there will be a peaceful reset. Like you guys are going to, I feel like saying that there's going to there's going to be so many different I feel like there's going to be someone to actually take this person back into their life whether it be romantic or a family member or a friend whoever right but then there's going to be these ones that have went through their spiritual awakening and let me add if you know you guys if If you don't choose to go through your spiritual awakening, then you'll have no choice but to later on. I truly, with all my heart, feel that if if it's God's will, if you're not obedient and choose the right path, then something is going to take place. To where you have no options. You have no choice. Okay. So keep that in mind. But for the ones that have went through their spiritual awakening. And have moved forward to something greater. I do 100% feel that this will be a very peaceful resolution. I feel like things will work out really well. I actually hear the word peaceful. Um. Yeah, that's all I've got today. Y'all, if it resonates, please hashtag resonate. If someone from your past comes back in with a message, please let me know. I, like I said, I do feel an apology. If this isn't something with to do with marriage, then I feel this is definitely someone 
that is coming in with an apology. Okay, folks. All right. Y'all, thank you. And put that thumbs up for me. And I will see you next time. Love one another. Be good to one another. And smile at a stranger, for goodness sake. You never know when somebody's having a bad day, right? I'll see you later. Bye.